Hey guys, it's Dom from mobiledom.co.uk and today I've got a review for you of the Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview. Let's get to it. Alright guys, now I must tell you that this is the Developer Preview. This is not coming out until the end of this year, maybe even early next year. So, a lot of things don't work. I mean, certain things are just placeholders if I go down. Like if, if I tap on these, these don't actually even do anything. Stuff like... Uh, where is it? Where's the calculator? The calculator is actually just a screenshot. There's nothing to actually do. But nevertheless, guys, I don't think I could be more excited about a mobile operating system. And it sounds so stupid, but I pardon me. I really like the Ubuntu Touch Developer Preview. Um, it's it's strangely fast, like. I mean, it's it's not mind-blowingly fast, but for a developer preview, I was expecting this thing to lag like hell, and it actually wasn't. So I'm kind of I'm I'm kind of excited by that. Now, the uh, developer preview, well, not developer preview, the Ubuntu Touch uh, OS is built around gestures. Uh, as you can see, there is no navigation buttons at the bottom. Uh, and there's no hardware buttons either because this is a Nexus 4. The uh, Ubuntu mobile OS uses gestures from different edges of the screen. So if I swipe from from this way, I like I'll show you if a quick swipe, whoops, a quick swipe will open up the sidebar. And these are your like favorite apps. So if I were to open up the camera, and I'll just pull in the Lumia 920. Obviously if I wanted to I could take a, a photo of that right there. Now to get home I can either quick swipe in from the side and hit the home button or I can swipe I can carry on swiping and that'll uh, minimize the app. It's not closed where it's not closed it's there it's just minimized. So obviously, this is the favourites bar. Uh, say if I open up another app, so I open up now I've opened up Facebook. If I want to switch between, like cycle through my running apps, you draw, you swipe it from this side. So I've just gone back into the camera, and I just went into the calculator again, and then back into Facebook, and those just sort of like infinitely loop. Now see, look, the, you just saw a bit of a glitch there. I tried to go home, and it it like glitched out and did something. But um, right, I'm, enough of me like rambling. I'm actually just going to show some things. So obviously, this is the this is your home screen. So it shows your frequently used apps, or it will eventually. These are just like static. So it's obviously the camera, the phone, the gallery, Facebook, browser, and Gmail. This does scroll. I should add. Uh, and there's the favorite people, and these are actually all Ubuntu Touch developers. So these are actually all the people. That are on the Ubuntu Touch team. So, and people, if you just tap them and open them up, some of them anyway. Let's try you. No, it doesn't want to work. All right, maybe it's uh, maybe I'm doing it wrong. Um, so these are the people, and it says like people recently in touch. So Otto Greenslade has said something to me on Facebook. I don't know if you can see that. There is a Facebook logo under the green square and Ubuntu Mobile, Ubuntu Mobile, Ubuntu Touch does this incredibly cool thing where it treats, oops, sorry about that, let's get the tripod, it treats web apps, that are HTML5 apps, like native apps, so they all have hooks in to the messaging, and that's another bit I'm going to show you later. Um, right now it shows like a couple of recent music things, videos popular online. And this is your home panel. If I swipe, swipe, if I swipe to the left, there is the uh, people page, and obviously there's that same carousel of people that you saw earlier. And if you tap on them, there you go. You can you can scroll down. So you, uh, Ian Farrell said he's going to see the Amazing Spider-Man three hours ago. There's a fake number, and then I'm not sure if that's his real num email, but then there's an email. And there's a nice big photo. Tap there and it will close again. Uh, recently in touch, new contacts, 
Oops. Uh, a to Z's. Z's A to Z. A, yeah, A to A to Z. I'm English. And then there is the entire actual contact list. And you just you just saw the kinetic scrolling on that. That's. It's not bad, is it? All right. On the far side is music. And again, it's another carousel with music tracks. Say if I were to. Say if I had to open up this, I don't think I actually can. No. Oh well. Uh, below that we have uh, recent music I've listened to, new music releases, and the top charting. And also this, uh, that's the far as we go over the side. But as you see, as I did that, a little bar at the bottom. So there's music, there's people, home, and then there's apps and videos. So if we go back to the home. Now instead of swiping left, we'll swipe right. And now we, like I said, now we have the apps. If you have no app running, this running apps part has obviously disappeared. And there's your frequently used, your installed apps, and then apps available for download. And these are actually incredibly cool. Um, obviously, none of these work right now. But I, I'd love to see how the recommendation engines for what you could download works, or if it's literally the entire store is there, which would be a bit weird. Obviously. Here are the apps installed. Most of these don't work, but there you go. Uh, if we scroll over one more time, we get to videos. And obviously there's a nice little carousel here. So if I were to open up uh, the, the Amazing Spider-Man, I can buy it from Amazon. I can rent it for, I'm thinking it's Ubuntu 1. And it gives me a bit of a review. It's four stars. And it tells me it stars Andrew Garfield, Emma Stone, and Reese Ifans. It tells me it came out last year in 2012 and it's 136 minutes long. Obviously, I can go back. Uh, recent films, I'm not sure if it's recently released or recently watched. Mm, so I'm not sure if I've ever seen Seven Psychopaths, Killing Them Softly, Deadfall, or The Last Stand. But I have seen The Hunger Games. So, oh wait, so that's catching fire. Wow. That's not even out yet. Um... <laughs> Uh, below that we have new releases, so there's Le Miserable, The Dark Knight Rises, The Paperboy, Django Unchained, and Dread. And then beneath, beneath, beneath that we have Popular Online. I'm not surprised until we see like the stupid amount of goat videos on this sooner or later. Um, right, those are like, the main panels. Uh, you saw me earlier pull down the notification, or what looks like a notification shade. Uh, these are cool, they're kind of like quick toggles, so it depends on where you pull down is what you get. So if I put my finger on the messaging icon and drag down, it's like a messaging inbox. If I pull on the sound icon, I can mute it, I can put the volume up. Next one is network, so I can connect to my Wi-Fi. Next, oh, oh, hit the wrong one. Try that again, there you go. Battery, tells my battery percentage, automatic brightness, on or off, and the brightness slider. The last one is date and time. Obviously these are scrollable. Uh, a cool thing though, if, if I pull it down a little bit, it tells me what net I can drag between them. So there's messaging, sound, networks, battery, and date and time. And this is actually incredibly useful, but it come, it, <clears throat> that is one of the few gripes I have with the developer preview, and I'm guessing this will be fixed when the actual... <clears throat> Sorry, I'm guessing that I'll take better use of the... I've completely lost this. Ah, there you go. Uh, once this has been completely released, I'm pretty sure the little niggle I have, which I'm going to tell you in a minute, is going to be gone. Before I go to the niggles, I'm going to say like a couple of few things. This is awesome. Uh, that's actually a note I've got written down here. It's like one of the, f the top ones, but it's awesome. So... I do find it to me like people might people other people might not think it. I think it's actually really revolutionary. I want to see this succeed. Uh, the next one is I want it finished like now, and it is true. If this was like daily driver stable, I would use it as in my daily driver. Simple as. Uh, the gestures are really interesting. Like I said, uh, top is these. This is the favorites bar. That is swiping through apps. The one I didn't show you about actually, if I go into say the camera, if I swipe up from the bottom, yeah, if I swipe up you get this like contextual menu. And it tells me a couple of things I can do there. I can close the app, it gives me a couple like the flashlight, a dark flip the camera front or back, 
gives me the menus I can use as like type or say a command and I can actually close the app there you go I just close the camera if I do it here I can close the calculator and close Facebook so that's a that's a pretty cool one uh, on the developer preview page they actually showed uh, I can't remember I think it was on the Nexus 10 they got a photo and they were editing it using voice commands and like they pulled the HUD and they like did crop this and it like cropped down to a certain size which is pretty awesome so like I said the gestures are incredibly interesting and it makes a hell of a lot use better of the screen than say Android does uh, now let's go to the niggles there is no actual SMS app which seems a bit stupid yeah <laughs> like oh my god how can you not have an SMS app there is SMS as obviously there is that messaging thing there but that's not the way main way you get to it the main way you get to it is you go to the phone I know hang on with me so obviously here's call oh not there you swipe over and here are my conversations to make a new one you do a quick swipe up from the bottom to open the texture the contextual menu you click compose and I can send a new message I'm just going to go back now I, I find this really weird I don't really like it obviously there's call then there's conversations and then there's your contacts again I'm not a fan of how that's done I mean there needs to, how many people are going to know that's where their messaging is and like it, it does if you it, it doesn't even tell you you actually have to like tap on it to find the conversations or just be randomly swiping that is pretty damn stupid that needs like so I'm pretty sure that'll be finished be finished I'm pretty sure that will happen when this is actually released uh, next thing is there's no actual haptic feedback on the keyboard which again sounds like a stupid thing but I really rely on haptic feedback because I've got quite fat thumbs that take up like four keys um, so uh, again probably fixed when probably fixed when it's actually out another thing that's probably going to be out when the thing is out is the settings app there is no settings you can kind of get into settings by just tapping and this is like a random device not random it's like a general device setting so you can turn on or off a flight mode you can turn the volume up if you tap on any of these it'll take you to whatever that is so if I click on messaging it'll take me to there obviously if I tap on the sound it'll take me to sound so there's no actual settings app and lastly but not last but not least of the like little niggles uh, if I go into actual photos here like uh, say so here's one I took on my keyboard earlier there's no pinch to zoom I said that's probably going to come out when this is finished but there's no pinch to zoom which I found really odd and I thought I was like somehow doing something wrong I was like did I forget how to pinch or is the screen on my Nexus 4 messed up but no it was just a bit just a bit odd but like I said guys that is my uh, Ubuntu Touch developer preview preview it's nowhere near finished it's a pain in the ass to get on as I had the drivers totally messed up on my computer for my Nexus 4 so I actually couldn't get ADB installed or fastboot and I literally spent 12 hours trying to get this on my phone yeah, you heard me right, 12 hours, and if you mess this up, yeah, you can actually, like, kind of brick your phone, and which is a bit harder on the Nexus 4, because it's not a removable battery. So, I mean, there are, um, luckily, I didn't brick mine, as you can see, I used the, um, the flashable zip files, I flashed it through Team Win Recovery Project, but even then, like, you don't you don't need fastboot and ADB to really get it on there. You need fastboot and ADB to get it off to be able to get back to Android. And to this day, I don't, I'm not even 100 percent sure if I can get it back. Like I'm like God, I'm hoping I'm hoping so hard that I can actually get Android back on this thing. But um, yeah, it was a massive pain in my ass. So that's that's one thing. Also, this is nowhere near developer, uh, developer, this is nowhere near daily driver material. Hardly anything works, there's loads of things missing. It's great to play around with if you've got like, say you just upgraded to the Nexus 4, but you've got your old Galaxy Nexus. Why not try it on the Galaxy Nexus if it's just sitting in a drawer? And also, at XDA, these guys are porting it to like, everything. So if you just go to XDA, uh, forums, uh, X, forums .xda developers com and you scroll down to Ubuntu Touch and click on the porting guide there is so many things this has been ported to so like I said 
Seeing as the developer preview, nothing works on almost anything. I mean, I can't remember where I read it. It's like calls and text work, but 3G data doesn't. It has to be Wi-Fi only. So, huh? Well, I said, like I said, I cannot wait for this to be finished. It, like, I'll probably be doing like updated videos of this when more stable versions come out. And like I said, I cannot. I am not. Bleh. I don't think I've been this excited for a mobile OS in a long, long time. Alright guys, that's enough from this video. Uh, you can get me on the website which is www.mobile-dom.co.uk You can get me on Twitter which is twitter.com forward slash mobile underscore dom. You can circle me on Google Plus which is gplus.to forward slash Domenico Lamberti. And if you want a consultation for a phone or tablet, I can give you one of those. The email address is domenico at mobile-dom.co.uk. Until next time guys, toodle pip.